Since I've posted these videos, I've asked questions about how these little LEDs work. It seems like magic that the LEDs can light up without any physically connected power source. Now, let's explain the science behind this magical phenomenon. These LEDs function similarly to wireless charging devices by utilizing the principles of inductive coupling, which involves the transfer of energy between two inductors or coils without needing a physical connection. An inductor, also known as a reactor or coil, is a coil of wire, often wrapped around a core made of a magnetic material such as iron. Inductive coupling occurs when two nearby electrical conductors, known as primary and secondary coils, exchange energy through an electromagnetic field. But how can the two nearby conductors or coils exchange energy without touching each other? To find out, we need to explain Faraday's law of induction. Faraday's experiment shows induction between wire coils. The liquid battery provides a current that flows through the small coil A, creating a magnetic field. When the coils are stationary, no current is induced. But when the small coil is moved in or out of the large coil B, the magnetic flux through the large coil changes, inducing a current that is detected by the galvanometer G. Faraday's law of induction is a fundamental law of electromagnetism, predicting how a magnetic field will interact with an electric circuit to produce an electromotive force, or EMF. It is the fundamental operating principle of transformers, inductors, electric motors, generators, and solenoids. Let's explain it further. When a magnet is put near the coil, EMF induces electricity at the ends of the coil momentarily. If the magnet moves out from near the inductor, the electricity induces in the opposite direction. Suppose we keep moving the magnet, the electricity is induced to the end of the magnet. But if the magnet stops moving, the electricity disappears. To produce EMF continuously, we must keep our magnet moving or find a better way to change the electromagnetic field constantly. But how can we change the electromagnetic field constantly? When a conductor is connected to a power supply, a magnetic field corresponds to the amplitude and polarity of the supply's voltage. The strength and direction of this field will change if the voltage or its polarity changes. Imagine a power supply that can dynamically alter its voltage and polarity at regular intervals. There are two types of electrical current, alternating current or AC and direct current or DC. AC is a type of electrical current that changes direction periodically while its amplitude constantly changes. The AC voltage period can be adjusted to accommodate the device's needs. On the other hand, DC is an electrical current that only flows in one direction while the amplitude is constant. When an AC voltage is applied to a conductor, it creates an alternating electromagnetic field around the conductor and simulates the same way as the moving magnet. Since we want to induce the power, this field induces a voltage in a nearby conductor, such as an inductor, which can then be used to power an LED or other devices. We hope you found this introduction to wireless LED informative and enjoyable. We invite you to subscribe and stay tuned for our latest educational videos. We welcome your feedback and comments in the comment section below.